Greetings and salutations, everyone. JDT Fridays Fan 97 here. And this breaking news of the day is that Paramount Global is agreed to merge with, with Skydance Media. David, according to the Wall Street Journal, David Elson's production company plans to buy Shari Redstone's National Amusements, Paramount's controlling shareholder, as part of the deal. Paramount Global agreed to merge with David Elson, El, Elison's Skydance Media in a complicated deal that ends the Redstone's family involvement with the Hollywood company. Shari, Shari Redstone is selling her family's controlling stake in Paramount Global and merging the entertainment giant with Skydance Media drawing to a close a nearly four-decade run by her and her father as entertainment power, power players. Skydance and its investors had agreed to spend more than $8 billion to acquire National Amusements, the family company that controls Paramount, and invest in a new in, iteration of the, of the iconic company. The deal gives a Bella Gourd entertainment company an injection of cash at the time when the traditional media landscape is in decline. The deal announced Sunday night comes after a special committee of Paramount Global directors agreed to the merger with Skydance. On Tuesday, the Redstones had agreed in principle to sell National Amusements weeks after turning down a similar deal with, with Skydance shocking many on Hollywood and Wall Street. The merger will marry Paramount, which owns the iconic movie studio behind The Godfather, broadcasters CBS, and the cable networks, including Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, and MTV with Skydance, a production company run by the son of the Oracle co-founder Larry Elison. Skydance also owns an animation studio, a gaming division, and has a joint venture with the National Football League, or NFL for short. Skydance said it plans to improve and re reinvigorate Marquette Paramount, Marquette Paramount and CBS brands, while improving profitability and bolstering investment in digital platforms. It aims to improve the technology behind streaming platforms Paramount, Paramount Plus and Pluto TV and bolster the company's cable channels. Under the agreement, Skydance will buy National Amusements in a deal with an equity value of $1.75 billion. Skydance plans to merge with Paramount. Redstone said in a memo to employees that the deal was expected to be completed in the first half of next year. Skydance is said to pay less for national amusements under the deal than original proposed, but Redstone has secured additional legal indemnification for from potential share, shareholders' lawsuits. People familiar with the deal said more legal protection was among Redstone's concerns when she walked away from the deal last month. The terms of the deal offer non-Redstone Paramount shareholders the ability to cash out at a premium, which wasn't part of the initial offer. The deal marks the end of one of the messiest media mergers in recent history, during which Paramount par parted ways with Chief Executive Bob Baggish and four of its directors and faced a shareholder revolve other terms of an earlier Skydance proposal that critics called a sweetheart deal for Redstone. 
after Sky Dance after the Sky Dance deal collapsed, the Redstones and and Elison kept in touch. With a couple of weeks, the two parties were working on revisiting the deal, keeping the circle of people involved small. Pe- small, the people said. In the earlier integra- integration of the deal, Skydance would have would have paid Redstone 1.85 million billion dollars for national amusements, while non-voting shareholders would have stocked the company, resulting from a Skydance Paramount merger. Under the newly agreed upon terms, Skydance and its backers, which include Redbird Capital Partners and Larry Elison, will inject $1.5 billion into Paramount's balance sheet, which, which it can, can use to pay down debt. The deal provides another $4.5 billion that Paramount can use for an offer to buy out, buy out about 50% of non-voting shares at $15 each, or can roll into a new company. Non-Redstone voting shareholders will be eligible to cash out for $23 a share or roll into the new company as non-voting shareholders. National Amusements, controlled by Skydance, will, will be the only owner of voting shares after the deal closes. Those terms represent a roughly 6% premium for non-voting Paramount shares and a 21% premium for voting shares compared with the stock prices in January. When the Wall Street Journal reported that Skydance was exploring a deal to take control of national amusements. And then in the second step of the deal, Paramount would acquire Skydance at a, at a valuation of around $4.7 billion. National Amusements is no longer man, mandated mandating that the Paramount merger be approved by a majority of non-Redstone shareholders, a sticking point in the last round of deal talks. The deal with Paramount will be subject to a 45-day go-shop period in which other prospective bidders can make offers to acquire Paramount before it mergers with Skydance, the company said Sunday. Other parties have expressed interest in Paramount as the Skydance negotiations played out, including Warner Brothers Discovery and media executive Brian Allen, private equity firm Apollo Global Management and Sony Pictures have submitted a $26 billion all-cash non-binding offer for Paramount, but talks stalked it, according to to other people familiar who did those who those discussions. After the Skydance deal closes, David Elison will be chairman and CEO of the combined company and former NBC Universal CEO Jeff Shell, who now works with Redbird, will be president. The deal will make Elison, one of the youngest heads of a major entertainment company. The the 41-year-old college dropout had built Skydance into a profitable maker of big-budget movies and TV shows, surprising many in Hollywood who saw him as another son of a billionaire trying to succeed in the entertainment world. He launched the company with cash from his father and and proved to be both a deft dealmaker and producer. Elison is known for steeping himself in the details of projects and his ability to talk about budgets, shooting schedules, and marketing with with enterprises. Ex- expertise executives who have worked with Skydance on movies and television shows say 
Putting Paramount on stronger footing is like to be challenging. Cable networks are in decline. Movie going is on a wane. Sports programming costs are skyrocketing and acquiring and retaining streaming customers is getting much harder. Paramount is currently led by three CEOs, George Cheeks, CEO of CBS, Chris McCarthy, CEO of Showtime MTV Entertainment Studios and Paramount Media Networks, and Brian Robbins, CEO of Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon, who are looking to aggressively cut costs as they contend with more than $14 billion in debt. The three CEOs is said in a memo to employees that they expect to continue with their stated plans to reduce costs through job cuts, asset sales, and exploring opportunities for streaming joint vendors. Redstone took center stage at Paramount when she inherited the media empire for Ford by her father. The media mongol Summer Redstone, she merged the two companies he controlled, Viacom and CBS, to form what became, became Paramount Global. Redstone said in a statement Sunday that she hopes the deal will be positioned Paramount for success in the fast-changing media landscape and keep its content front and center. We believe in Paramount, and we always will, she said. The deal involved a number of advisors, among them BDT and MSD Partners, served as the advisor to National Amusements and Ropes and Gray as legal counsel. Centerview Partners serves as financial advisor to Paramount's Special Committee of Directors and and Karavev, Swain, and, and more as legal counsel. Redbird Advisors, B, B of A Securities, Mullis and Co., and the Rain Group serve as advisors to Skydance and its investors with Latin and Watkins at legal counsel. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, breaking news. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. So you won't miss any updates. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. This is JDT Fridays for 97 signing off. Bye.